On the way to the mechanical components lecture, Nina's bicycle chain unfortunately jumped out, which is why she missed the whole lesson. Nils helps her out and explains what this week's topic was. Nils says to Nina, this week was about designing a bearing, which involves planning, constructing, and assembling a bearing. The first thing to decide when designing a bearing arrangement is whether to use a fixed and floating bearing arrangement or adjusted bearing arrangement or a fully floating bearing arrangement. Fixed bearings should prevent axial movement of the shaft in relation to the housing and absorb radial and axial forces. Floating bearings, on the other hand, allow relative axial movements and also absorb radial forces. Niels explains, when pairing angular contact ball bearings and tapered roller bearings, the arrangement of the bearings plays a role in addition to the type of bearing. A distinction is made between the O, X, and tandem arrangement, but that sounds more complicated than it actually is. Rolling bearings in O arrangement or X arrangement can support high radial loads as well as axial forces from both directions. With the O arrangement, small misalignments of the bearings are possible but the support width is wide. With the X arrangement, high misalignments of the bearings are possible, but the support width is low. The tandem arrangement is a multiplication of an X or O arrangement. This occurs when, for example, several bearings are needed to absorb the acting forces and ensure an appropriate service life or rigidity. For this purpose, the bearings can only support axial loads from one direction. Niels also tells Nina, after the calculation and selection of the bearing arrangement, the surrounding construction still needs to be taken into account. Criteria that need to be considered for the bearing arrangement include correct bearing mounting and ensuring that the bearing arrangement has sufficient space to be mounted. Another point is choosing the right fit for shaft and housing. However, this depends on the operating conditions. Seals are used in the bearing to prevent the ingress of contaminants and the escape of lubricant. In general, a distinction can be made between integrated and external seals. Nina says, I can do with a good protector like that on my bike. Nils says, that's right, then you'll never miss a lecture again. If you're interested in rolling bearings as Nils and Nina, then take a closer look at the articles here on bearingwizard.co.uk.